really simple card for you today, but I think it's nice to show off the different dies and how they work together. So that's why I've chosen this one to do for today's video demo. We will be using several different products here. First up is the Triple Merry Christmas die. Also going to be using the tag from the Poinsettia Corner Border and Tag Set. Going to make a frame with the Poinsettia mini background. And we're going to do some embossing with the contemporary Poinsettia embossing folder. And I'm going to use a little bit of the adhesive sheets. These are the double sided sticky sheets. So we're going to start, like usual, with our embossing. Going to bring my Poinsettia folder in, and I've got a piece of white card, and I'll tell you what, I'll do you a quick measurement. I have a piece of coconut white card, five and three quarters inches by seven inches in size. Pop that into the contemporary poinsettia folder. I'm going to try it with the raspberry adapter plate. Give it a quick run through. There we go. Oh, that looks so pretty. Let's show you. Look at the detail on that. There's a beautiful emboss with that folder. I love the way that comes out. I'm going to go ahead and put that into place on our background. And we'll just use some double-sided tape around the edge. Go ahead and hit all four sides. Like I usually do, I have brought in the gold card and a little edge of black in here as a mat. There we go. Done my paper piercing and another little frame. So I've nicely framed our focal element. So we'll come back to that in a little bit. Bring that out. So the next thing I want to do is cut the frame. So I'm going to bring the gold card in. And this is a um, piece that I've cut to four and a third by five and a half inches. Bringing in our poinsettia frame, I'm going to go ahead and center that in there and let's tape that into place here. Now there is not an outside cutting edge on this, so whatever size you want your, your frame to be, that's what you can cut this to. Bring this forward, find my plates here. Pop that in. And one of the things I've noticed when you have a very detailed die like this going through the platinum machine, if you put it at a little bit of an angle, it does make it a tiny bit easier to, to go through because there's a lot of pressure on this machine. Okay. Let's check that. That looks like it's cut well. Go ahead and use the tool in one to take away some extra bits here. Take our tape off. There we go. Pop that back into place, and I've got just a couple little bits here that need to be taken out. There we go. Okay, so I'll tidy up and we'll move forward. So I'm going to back this with black card. So I'm just going to give it a quick spray with the spray glue. I'm going to pop that onto a black mat. Center that. And then what we're going to do is take the inside cutting edge and cut it into a frame. Pop that into place. Centered. And one more piece, oops, sticky fingers there. Make sure all your little bits are off of your cutting plate and run that through. Okay. So now you have a perfectly cut inside frame area. Now I have one I've added some mounting foam to, so I'm gonna go ahead and use that. We will put this back into place and move forward. So the next thing I want to show you is the Merry Christmas triple line. Now, um, this is a unique die in that you have a perfect positive and negative out of it. 
And because it's quite long and skinny with the lines, I recommend using a bit of wax paper with it. Now I've gone ahead and cut it once and I've left all the bits in there. I'm going to line it up again and cut it a second time. Just pop that into place and find my tape. A little bit longer of a piece since I've got some wax paper, I wanna make sure to tape it onto the actual cardstock. And let's just put it up on top of our cutting plate. That way we can even tape it to that if we want. Center that right underneath that, like that. Pop it into place, run this through. I'm going to use the Merry Christmas as a backdrop for my frame. So it adds just a little bit of an accent without kind of being too overwhelming. Carefully peel this up. Take my tape off. There we go. There we go. I'm going to roll that over it and keep it all in place. Now this is the way I find it's easiest to do. I want to back this with some gold card. So what I'm going to do is give it a quick spray with all the fall away still in it pop it down into place and then remove all the extra little fall away bits. And that'll keep it all nice and straight in line. So you can see, I can peel those out carefully. There we go. Go all the way down until I have a piece that looks just like this, okay? And I just find that's a lot easier to do rather than having those lines wiggle around a bit. So, and of course you can use the actual strips of that for other cards too, so it's not a problem. So now I'm going to put my frame over the top of that, and that's why I've used a bit of mounting foam here. I'm going to raise it up. I'm going to center this over the top of it, and you can go any direction. I think I'll just catch the beginning of the Merry Christmas here and there, and then we'll trim away the extra bit. Find my scissors. Just go under the edge like that. Okay. So we can bring our card back over. We can seat our frame, and I'll use a little bit of glue on this. Pop that into place, and we will show you how the center tag is formed. That's ready to go. So the next thing I want to do is take a piece of black card, bring in my poinsettia tag. Now this tag is done in three pieces. So I'm going to use the two outer pieces. Pop that into place. There we go. Put that onto my cutting plate. Get those mixed around. Run it back. off the tape. We'll use that again. There we go. And just take all the bits out. Now I've done one in gold as a backing using just this outer piece. So I can put these two together, get them lined up right, there we go, glue them together and then use the inside piece to cut that center out just like we've done on the frame so it's a nice clean uh, cut. So I'll have a die that looks just like this when you've done all that. I've added a bit of mounting foam to the back of that now. And we will bring in our sentiment. I've stamped warm winter wishes with a black archival just on a piece of um, white card. And a little teeny piece of your self-adhesive sticky sheet. Don't waste all those little pieces. They are so useful for this. I'm going to pop that right over the top. We'll peel the backing off on that. There we go. And then I think it's easiest to go ahead and put this over the top, get it centered where you wanted, leaving that center part with the exposed adhesive. Pop that right over the top like so. And then bring in your glitter jewels. And I'll just grab the copy paper so I can catch any pieces I miss. Put that right over the top. Litter that up, tiny bit of 
glitter to put back in there. And then we can take our scissors, which I've got right here, trim away the extra bit. And that way you're not wasting a lot of extra glitter on parts of that. And your tag will stick really nicely to the sticky back card. And you won't have to worry about gluing onto glitter. Trim that around. Make sure I've got that nice and clean. And if you need to, I've got a little bit of glitter where my tape was. You can use the adhesive remover and that will take that right off. And then next thing I will do is bring in some mounting foam for the back. A little piece across the back. We'll pop that into the center of the card. So you'll be able to see your backing, but you'll have a beautiful tag right in the middle of your card. Add a few pearls to adorn that, and you have got a stunning Christmas card. Well, I hope I've shown you just how easy it is to create cards with the new festive range, and look for more videos on our YouTube channel.